So we're going to see if the royal family thinks they've messed up with William and Harry. Today we're going to talk about William. This is part two in a four-part series. If you like the video, I hope you do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So thanks to one of my viewers, Jayla. You're great. I might have to rename this the uh, Jayla and Mark Show. Um, but you want to know, do the, does the royal family feel like they've messed up with Meghan and Harry? And so we talked about uh, in the first of this four-part series, we did number one, uh, which was uh, Charles, Prince Charles. Uh, this will be number two, which is William and Harry. And this should be, I mean, those guys were close. And then um, we'll see how that finishes up. Tomorrow will be, uh, who's going to be tomorrow? I've forgotten already. Tomorrow, oh, it's going to be Princess Anne. Yeah, so let's see what happens here. So here's what bothers me, and I think it's what bothers a lot of people. I mean, we remember how they used to be. Used to be, okay? And um, we've seen, uh, even at the Diana Memorial, we saw both of the brothers uh, greeting the Spencer sisters, Diana's sisters. You know, there's that side of the family, too. And whose side do you think, too? And whose side do you think they're on in this uh, family debacle? Um, they had every chance at the memorial to make friends, but they were so distant. And, and um, so we just have to see if, um, if William has it in him to be the big brother, to be the next king, and mend this rift. So these are the Tarot de Marseille, and uh, these date from around 1760. These are actually uh, Los Caravillo cards. These and a... Um, a numbered edition a set so I don't know um, I'll show you the little uh, guidebook that comes with them so so this is a uh, tarot de Marseille in the style of 1760 and uh, this uh, this pack is number 1415 out of uh, 2999 uh, sets that were made so I don't know if that'll ever mean anything but the little guidebook that comes with it is kind of cool and then it gives you uh, you know some kind of a story in here to uh, to tell you about the cards and, and what their background is and and uh, the original blocks they were made from. So, yeah, something interesting to look at. Um, the cards, I love. But the problem with these is that if you don't know your tarot, I mean, you could have a hard time making some divinations. You'll see that uh, the uh, court cards and the uh, major arcana, most of them are kind of, you could figure them out, not too, without too much trouble, but the rest of them can be kind of cryptic. So, but this is what, uh, so presumably, Tarachi cards for uh, just playing games uh, would look like at that time, the uh, uh, late 18th, 18th century. So that's where we are with these. William, 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 do, do you feel like you've messed things up with Harry and William, uh, Harry and Meghan? So William, do you feel like you've messed things up with Harry and Megan. I have to feel like there's some, there's a lot of responsibility there. What would the feelings be? The feelings would be a betrayal, first of all. I'm sure William feels betrayed by Harry. Um, then um, he feels responsibility, I'm sure. He has to feel responsibility for, 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 for trying to fix this. If fixing it may not be mending with Harry, but what would fixing it be? So, but do they, does he feel uh, responsibility. So let's just ask that in three cards. William, Prince William, future King of England. Do you feel responsibility for messing up? Okay, for messing up with Harry and Meghan. That's very specific. Just three cards, just to get going. So one, two, 
three, just to kind of see what direction this can go in. So, William, do you feel responsibility for messing up with Harry and Meghan? Signifier card for that is a great big um, uh, action, a great big ace of wands. Ace of wands are exactly that. You can see how this ace is just pounded onto the onto the scene here with all these repercussions coming out from it, from it and a, a tight a clenched fist around the base. And it's a huge action. It's a huge club. So this big ace of wands, um, William, do you feel responsible? He, he feels responsible for some sort of a big action. Let's see what it, what is that action. Uh, the next card in this series then is going to be, ah, uh, so this is the uh, Emperor. So this is the fourth card uh, in the series. And the Emperor is, uh, you know, he is the ruler of the, of the, of the kingdom and, and the empire, actually. So uh, do you feel responsibility for messing up with Harry and Meghan? We get a big ace of responsibility. And then we get the next card is the Emperor. Has to mean he's, he's focused in on, on that, so he will be. Last card in this, then, is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of Wands. The 7 of Wands, I'll remind you what it looks like in a tra traditional Rider weight deck. Uh, this is usually the guy who's standing on top of a hill with a wand in his hand. He's leaned over and he's fighting off six other wands that are poking up over the edge of the hill. So, do you feel responsible? This says to me that... Uh, yes, he does feel responsible. It doesn't say enough to me about um, whether he feels res responsible good or res responsible bad, I think. I'm going to pull two more cards for responsible good or responsible bad. Responsible good or responsible bad. Two cards. Because that part right there is clear. So responsible good or responsible bad. Two cards. One. Two. Okay, let's see what this comes up with here. Responsible good or responsible bad? The first card for that, okay, the world. So these are cycles, beginnings, and endings, and this is a huge, I mean, it's the world. It's the, you know, the last card in the series. You gained all the knowledge possible. Do you feel responsible good or responsible bad? You feel responsible. Okay, good or bad, I think. And then this is strength. You feel like you have to show strength. It's very interesting. Very interesting, but it doesn't show good or bad. One more card, right off the top. Good or bad. The king of value. That's good. Okay? Um, so, yeah. He feels like he has shown responsibility. He's shown his value as an emperor and as a king. That's pretty amazing. Yep. And, and it just it told the, the whole story right there. So let's see um, if you're going to be able to bring things uh, back together. Because that, after all, is the best quality uh, that an emperor or a king with great value can have. That is to bring things back together. So William, do you feel... Are you going to... Is it your intention to bring Harry and Meghan back into the fold. William, is it your intention to bring Harry and Meghan back into the fold? That's what I want to know. Is it your intention to bring Harry and Meghan back into the fold? Six cards, maybe uh, four more, but we'll see at least six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Do you feel it's your responsibility to bring them back into the fold. Signifier card for that. Okay, this is a page of cups. So this is giving very little value to the emotions of the situation. You know, the page is the weakest of the, of the royal cards. Cups are emotions and passions. And this uh, uh, valet, this page, looks so very sad. Um, it looks like, is this actually the top of the cup? Has he taken the, the top off of the cup? Uh, and is at least, uh, you know, willing to take a look at what's inside. But no matter what, this, being the signifier of this question, this is the weakest of the court, court card. This is the weakest offer of compassion. What's it challenged by, though? It's challenged by, uh, these are swords. These are the seven of swords. The seven of swords is uh, theft and betrayal. 
This is typically depicted by the uh, fellow who's walking away with some swords under his arm, uh, kind of sneaking away from the camp. And so this uh, the signifier of this little offer of, of compassion is challenged by this big, uh, uh, f- what he feels is act of uh, a thief in the night, almost a betrayal. The base of this reading then, okay, this is the Ace of Cups. So this is a big, a great big, huge offer of emotion. And that's the base of the reading. And that's a very good thing. I mean, that's what we want. We want to have some some compassion coming into the picture in a big way. The past of this reading then is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of Cups. And the past of this reading is having to walk away from, this whole thing is about compassion and, and, and hurt feelings having to walk away from something of value. You still have something left to take with you. But this is, again, typically depicted by the fellow who's uh, turned away. He's walking away from a stack of eight cups. So that's what happened, walking away. Now, is this William uh, having walked away, or is this Harry having walked away? This is talking about Harry's betrayal in William's eyes. Um, big offer of, of compassion is what uh, this is based on, although a little bit comes out, and walking away from an emotional situation. What's the sky of this reading? The sky of this is, um, ah, the Wheel of Fortune. Yep, it is the Wheel of Fortune. So um, it, it's saying to me that he, he doesn't hasn't figured it out yet. Uh, it's still, um, you know, it's still up in the air. He still doesn't really know uh, what to do, and that's not the sign of a strong king, I'm sorry to say. It's just not. And then the uh, final outcome on this first part here is um, temperance. Oh, yeah, having to balance out, uh, you know, get the temperature just right. So that's very good, actually. I mean, I may have spoken too soon when I said that's not uh, how a king should be act, because this is how the royal, the, the monarchy does react. They they don't put themselves at the, the flame. Uh, they I think they want to try not to be too cool. They've got to find the right uh, balance. Um, so for the last four cards, let's see. Do you think, William, that you're going to find this balance? The um, self of that question, William, do you think you're going to find that balance? Wow. Look what came right back up. Like he, he said, he said, I am offering a plan. He says, I'm going to make something happen. What's that in the environment of? That's in the environment of, ah, the devil. Yeah. So so he feels that, um, yeah, there's just, uh, he's very hurt by what's happened uh, with Harry uh, walking away from the uh, monarchy. He's very hurt by that. And then the hopes and the fears for that is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of cups. The hopes and the fears is a great big rainbow of compassionate happiness. Look at all the passion in this reading. Wow. So that's his hopes and the fears is that somehow we get back to this. Look, at it. He's, he's willing to give a big offer of some kind of action. Well, we need to see it. Maybe it's behind the scenes. And the final outcome then of all of this is going to be, look at that. The two of cups are the lovers. I mean, that is beautiful. So there's hope. And, and look at this. It even has the royal insignia uh, down here. My goodness. So, yeah, this this tells us uh, that um, maybe there's more king in Harry than I gave him credit for. Of course, I meant to say more king in William than I gave him credit for. That was a Freudian slip, wasn't it? So uh, it started out on this part with, um, you know, what it what was our signifier card? It was the page of cups. Just a very little offer of cups. I think it's all William can do right now. It's all he can do. And it was challenged by this seven of swords, which is just betrayal. Um, uh, it feels like theft. Like he's, he's stolen something from him. And the underpinning of the whole thing was a great big, which is a good sign, an ace of cups. A great big offer of compassion. It's This whole thing is based on emotions at the base of it. And then... Um, Let's see, six, seven, eight. This uh, eight of cups uh, in the past is having to walk away from that emotional, compassionate situation. Is it William walking away? Is it Harry having walked away? Either one it works. And then in the sky of that was it's 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 still up in the air. We still don't know what's going to happen, uh, and that's how uh, he feels too. But. Uh, we have over here, at least for the outcome of the first part, is temperance, and he's a, a smart enough uh, king to know that the temperance is. Um, what's needed here. The, it was, will he make it right? And the, the, the self of that is this great big offer of action. I mean, this is like, I'm fire, I've got a plan, I've got an action, and I'm going to make it happen. And But he knows that's in the environment of what he feels is the devil, because he's got uh, Harry just running loose the and, and being successful at it. And then the um, 
hopes and the fears of this, of course, is this Nine of Cups, which is the hopes is that it's all sunshine and rainbows. The Nine of Cups is, you know, just perfection. And then the final outcome of the whole thing, thank goodness, is the Two of Cups, which are the lovers, which are, you know, they'll get back together. Just don't know when. We have to wait and see. I like that. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.